I wonder what this video is about. Hello YouTube, how do you do? My name is Mikey. Hey, welcome to my vlog. Well, if you haven't guessed already, this video is about my first time. The reason I've decided to do this video is because most people that post this video online, they don't talk about their first time. They go off and say, oh, the first time I had a cup of tea. I'm going to talk about my first time because I'm on that bit of YouTube that nobody watches, so it doesn't really matter. My first time, man. It's something that everybody's going to have to go through at one point in their lives. And if they don't, then they're probably doing life wrong. Or, or they just choose not to, which is all fine and dandy. I don't mind if you don't want to have sex. But why? Sex is pretty good. Apart from your first time, which is the worst time, but it's the best time. Because you've had it, finally. And then you get it over and done with. Having your first time makes you feel like you understand a lot more about yourself and what you want things to be. But my first time, I lied to the girl that I was having sex with. The girl that I penetrated, I lied to. I didn't lie to her like, you know, oh, I've had sex with loads of people before. I just wanted to feel more confident and I wanted to go into this the right way. I probably did it the completely the wrong way. My first time I lied to the girl. I said, that, yeah, I've had sex before. I told her that I had sex on holiday in uh, Parma with a Spanish girl. My first time was pretty, uh, pretty horrible. If it's your first time, tell them that it's your first time. Because through my experience, when you tell somebody that you've done it before and they haven't, they kind of think that you know what you're doing. And when I didn't know what I was doing, everything went wrong. Now thankfully, because of sex education in school, I knew how to put the condom on. What I didn't know is supposed to pleasure a girl and make her all nice and wet first. It was very hard and uh, rough and yeah, she bled a lot more than what she probably should have. In fact, I got some advice for you fellas. If you are going to have sex for the first time, do it with a girl that's had sex before. Because it'll make life a lot easier. But make sure you tell her that it's your first time because she'll teach you everything me. Seriously. And if you're a woman and you've never had sex before, have sex with a man who has had sex before. Make sure it's a guy that appreciates you and just doesn't want to get with a virgin because those guys are twice. Mm. I just remember there been a lot of blood and then I remember there been... I'm not going to say the girl's name because she probably already knew it was my first time and she probably knew that I was lying to her. But there was so much blood at the end of it, right? That we had to like wash the bed afterwards uh, before the parents came home. But then the parents came home when we put the freaking bed sheet into the uh, washing machine. <laughs> And they were like, oh, why are you washing your veggies? Are you being responsible? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, well, yeah. We were out of the house for nearly five hours. We were at home, alone. And we decided that we would be responsible and clean up after ourselves. But yeah, your first time should be something you need to get out of the way, all right? <laughs> That's, that's pretty much the only way I'd look at it. And I think that's because I'm a guy. Like, women have this thing where they want their first time to be special and all that, blah, blah, blah. A guy just wants to have sex. That's the way I looked at it. That's the way I did it. This is probably why people uh, didn't talk about their first time on the internet, because it's very awkward. I will always remember it. My first time I fell in love with a girl. Look, man, my first time was awkward. Everybody's first time is going to be awkward. But when you go into it, don't lie about it. Be honest with each other because the connection that you're going to share and if it's both of your first times, the connection you're going to share is going to be pretty freaking powerful and you're, gonna know, you're not going to know what's going on with your body and you're going to be like, Jesus Christ, I feel something for this girl. Oh, guy. I'm going to stop talking about my first time, but my last piece of advice is take your time. Don't rush into it. Girls, do not let guys overpower you into it. Guys, same goes for you. Don't let girls overpower you into having sex. Don't let anybody intimidate you into having sex. Make sure you are ready. If you're not ready, don't say yes. I hope that this video made you laugh. Yeah, I'm gonna go now. You know I'm gonna close this log in my nose because that's the way I like to roll. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. I'll see you later. <coughs> Jesus, that didn't mean to come out like that. Ah, uh, screw it. And see, I'd ask you to like this video, but it doesn't really matter anymore. I've lost my mind. I've gone insane. I'm talking about stupid shit on the internet. And pretty much, I'm just going to leave you with this little piece of 
beauty to happen during filming this. Thanks guys. Bye. For fuck's sake, man, the dustman men have to show up now. Are you fucking kidding me? You had to move to the busy bit of Plymouth.